It's the end of 2017, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for another grandstanding video from YouTube showcasing the top creators on the platform for the year 2017. We noticed there were a few controversial omissions from the video this year, so we wanted to take a look at who missed out on the 2017 Rewind video. And while these guys missed out on being in the YouTube Rewind, we would hate for you to miss out on our videos, so hit that subscribe button and ding that little notification bell as well. Rice Gum YouTubers always come and go. I'm still on top, I'm still popping, and I'm still not on YouTube Rewind. 2017 was a banner year for the blogger and diss track writer Rice Gum. Yeah, do you get the message on Twitter thread rape? We should get this guy arrested, but I'm flexing. Currently sitting at just about 9 million subscribers on YouTube, he is just outside the top 100 in subscribers, but is arguably one of the most popular vloggers on the platform in terms of video performance. We would have to say some controversial comments about rape. He raped like hella people. <laughs> what the f <laughs> no, no, but did it feel good though? And his feud with another member of this list. I only care about fame and myself. No, I don't portray you that way. You portray yourself that way. Most definitely contributed to his exclusion from the video. It is odd though that he would be excluded when another vlogger with controversy surrounding him was given the green light to be in the video. That vlogger of course being Jake Paul. So while we may never know why he wasn't included, we do know he isn't very happy about it. Okay, I don't know why YouTube is making it seem like YouTube is just one big happy family. Everyone's just holding hands. Gordon Ramsay. Crap, and he's just running around like a toilet brush. Is anyone gonna take control? The man, the myth, the legendary jerk Gordon Ramsay has been doing numbers on YouTube for the past few years. From his cooking tutorials. Secret of a good chip butty is in the potato. Two highlights from Hell's Kitchen. Denver's best pizza. That is a bold statement. We cook for you just like Mama did. He is everywhere on the platform. Even his rants are compiled and posted. I don't know how to wake you up anymore. Yes, I, you're like a zombie. Sorry, chef. You make him look good. And sometimes taken even further to make some weird videos. There you go. Click the bird. You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. But like Rice Gum, he is missing from the Rewind video. Which is a bit odd since Stephen Colbert made time to be in the video, so you would think that if he was asked, he most certainly would have said yes to taking part in the festivities of this year's Rewind. Well, I guess there is always 2018, Mr. Ramsey. There's always 2018. Listen. Yes, sir. Concentrate. Yes, sir. Four minutes to the window. Yes, sir. One spaghetti of lobster. H3H3. Hey, what up, peeps? It's your boy Ethan from H3H3. The sun finally came out. Now, this one we knew for sure wouldn't have been on the rewind before we even clicked on the link for the video. We're back. It's a video. We're in a, we made a video. We're back. But we do wonder why they weren't included. Sure, H3H3 is pretty much the channel that stands up to YouTube every time they do something that will hurt content creators. Adpocalypse comes to mind, as well as their monumental fair use trial victory. And granted that fair use trial wasn't against YouTube, but it most certainly helped a ton of creators push back against some unfair demonetization actions. <laughs> And sure, H3H3 is pretty crass, but so are a ton of other people that are included in the videos. Epic Rap Battles has been in every single one of these videos from the jump, and they say some salacious things, so why weren't H3H3 included? Sure feels like someone is playing favorites, YouTube. It's it's really god awful. It's like it's just horrible. But this is this is what ticked me off. Phase Banks. Oh, I'm excited, baby. Let's go. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, baby. FaZe Banks, like his buddy Rice Gum, had a monster year on the YouTubes. So where the hell is he in this video? In the crib. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's so weird, bro. I mean, come on. He is part of a vlogger power couple. He is all over the place on the platform and even had one of those fake feuds with Jake Paul to elevate him even further. What? It's your boy FaZe Banks and I'm going to meet with Jake Paul right now. Unlike Rice Gum, FaZe hasn't really had many missteps in the public guy so it's most certainly odd that they would not include him in the big 2017 rewind but you guys know how it goes afterwards well it's just she hasn't pooped in a week <laughs> all we're saying is that next year when it comes time to do the old rewind video again it would be nice to at least have the phase family in the mix so the video is accurate as to who is producing the most watched content you gotta give credit where credit's due i know i'm always plugging people and shit but like you have to like there's so many people who help me out pewdiepie youtube rewind the new YouTube Rewind is up. Now here is one that for sure wasn't going to be included in the list after his tumultuous 2017. Holy heck. Christian Channel. I would love to be part of that. That looks cool. 
He is the only person on this list who is a veteran of YouTube Rewind and was a fixture in previous videos. PewDiePie owns the distinct honor of being the most subscribed to individual channel on the entire platform, and not having him there may feel like a crime to his legions of fans who have stood by their pewds in spite of all the things he has done this year. I was like, okay, this is something cool that all the creators are part of is to celebrate YouTube. So what do you guys think? Should he have been included even though he screwed the pooch this year? But, I mean, it's an advertisement. It's an advertisement for YouTube, and that's fine. iDubs TV. A guess who's back with another legendary episode. Another one that we knew wouldn't be making the list would be H3H3 friend iDubs TV. His content is just too controversial to be included in the wholesome list of awesome content that comprises a YouTube rewind. Today I want to paint a spider, those eight-legged creatures that you see crawling around your bedpost. But even with his content being rather risque and downright awful at times, he does boast a huge subscriber count and every video he creates has legions of views behind it. You have a proposition to put your finger on, but these days it ain't no thing. So it begs the question that if YouTube has zero problem making money off the guy, then why wouldn't they at least ask him to participate in the rewind video? Nice. It'd be nice if you got a solid ladder that didn't swing. So what's the deal, YouTube? What is the criteria for being asked to be a part of this video? Is it subs? Is it views? Is it having a certain glammy look that almost all the people in the video seem to exude? Because we're dying to know. Oh my God. Dude perfect. Now this one is generally baffling. Where the hell are these dudes? This is the second story bounce back. They are the 22nd largest YouTube channel in the world. They most certainly should have been included in the rewind. We could think of a ton of places that you could have inserted them as a transition to a different set piece or just chucking water bottles at someone or doing some goofy thing. And a trick on a little railer, dude. And unlike H3H3 or iDubs, they fit pretty much every metric for being included in the YouTube Rewind. They have the quote unquote wholesome content, they have the glammier look that fits in with the other folks in the video, so it would seem that they should be included. This of course could be a case of someone being asked and they were uninterested, but as YouTube is their primary thrust financially, it seems like an odd move to say no if they did. Start to every good trick shot's a good intro. So I get credit for that. Well done, Adam! Thank All you. right! Miranda Sings. I'm about to break it down! What a down year for Miranda Sings. After two seasons, her spin-off Netflix show gets canceled, and then in a weird move, she isn't included in the YouTube Rewind. What? I could eat myself? Yeah, let's just move on, let's... <laughs> now this could be YouTube moving away from her as she just got dropped by Netflix and her star isn't shining quite as bright as it once was. And mama says she's got evil in her. But, you got me feeling like but like Dude Perfect, we know for a fact that there are plenty of awesome spots to do a drop in and let her do her Miranda thing. This one feels like a real missed opportunity to bring a homegrown talent back into the fold and showcase her alongside the other YouTubers and help turn around her slump. Hello guys, welcome to today. I'm so excited about all my days. Shane Dawson. Guys! Okay, first of all, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so much. Another one of the bigger vloggers who wasn't involved in the YouTube Rewind this year is Shane Dawson. Uh, yes, you are the homeless Disney princess and we're gonna turn you into the beast. He Like Rice Gum is a rather large channel sitting on the cusp of the top 100, with Dawson's subscribers sitting at 11 million and his total view count sitting at a staggering 3.3 billion. So he is very, very popular. Yeah, he loves me. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Dawson did release a video explaining why he wasn't involved in the video this year, and it appears to be some personal issues coupled with time frame. Hey y'all! <laughs> now would you wanna? Now would you wanna try some? Like, I, I can't. It's a bummer because we would have liked to see him in the video alongside his YouTube vlogging community cohorts. Yeah. What the f is that? <laughs> I'm literally so grossed out I'm breaking character. <laughs> Ryan Higa. Hey guys, so as you can see, I still haven't moved yet. It's been a long process, and the process keeps getting delayed. 
Another huge YouTuber that is missing from the video this year is comedy video maker Ryan Higa. With over 20 million subscribers and 3.5 billion views on his account, his exclusion is vexing to say the very least. Like really YouTube? Where the hell is he? Oh my god. Guys, I think I got it. Ryan fits the YouTube rewind mold perfectly, so his omission seems like it must be declined or there is something behind the scenes which made YouTube decide to not include him. Even if it's gonna take us all day, which might because we haven't done it yet. With that being said, one take. Well, hopefully next year we will see more inclusion of the bigger names of YouTube alongside the up-and-comers. We'll check back in a year and see how they do. Oh, oh my <laughs> and that's the list. Which one of your favorite YouTubers didn't make the cut this year? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos.